Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you have been here, you would know that my Evo's steering wheel is disgusting. Case in point, that is horrific. Uh, it shits me every time I get in here because it's gross. I've been saying for a long time I'm gonna get it retrimmed properly, but I decided for the time being to get a steering wheel wrap kit, which is basically just a wrap that goes over the steering wheel that you stitch on. My seven had one and it was fine. I will get it done properly one day, but it's also like $500 and I don't really wanna spend 500 bucks so I'm gonna have to. So we're gonna rewrap the steering wheel today and the faceplate, oh, this plastic cover on my cluster is quite scratched up. You probably can't see it very well on the camera, but well, it's kind of annoying me. So we're gonna pull that out, pull the plastic off and polish it up. And hopefully between the steering wheel, the cluster and the new head unit that we've got in here. This car is gonna feel like new again on the inside because it doesn't smell anymore. The only other thing that we have to do, which is coming up, will be relocating this and adding an AFR gauge, but that's coming up. Let's have a look at the kit that we got. This is what we got. It's literally a no-name of AliExpress. It was literally $15, cheap as. What have we got? We got some instructions. Making process. Good faith management. Welcome, contact us for cooperation. The vehicle that needs to be clean up edge needs to turn the edge of the leather in reverse. Yeah, right, that's probably gonna be fucking useless, whatever. We've got some tape, I think we have to tape it, tape it down. We've got some thread. I've got another trim tool, I have like a hundred of these now. Uh, I guess you hang that off your mirror, it's like a little Chinese thing, I don't know. Don't tell me what that is, because I don't know what that's for. And then we got the leather wrap. I went like a leather uh, with black stitching, just to keep it OEM spec. Should be pretty subtle. That looks pretty cool. So that's the steering wheel wrap that we're gonna do. And then we're just going to use this little polishing wheel and some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound to polish the cluster. So let's do this steering wheel wrap first because I think it's going to be more of a pain. It's probably going to be really fiddly, so I'm just stitching this up. I hear it's a pain. Let's uh, work it out. So actually looking at the pictures, it looks like we have to tape up a lot of the inside of the wrap. And then we put it on and we stick it down and then, then we stitch it. Uh, mine doesn't actually open up like that. It's like one circle piece. So, I don't know, let's put a bunch of the tape on it and then see what we can do with it. Penetrate the other side of the leather sheet. Instead of putting this tape on the steering wheel wrap, I'm just gonna put it on the steering wheel and then... Shut up. And then uh, put the wrap over the top and then hopefully that will stick properly. We may have to take these off too. I don't know, I don't even know how they come off. Probably a little clip at the back or something. Right, the wheel is all taped up. That's what we're running kind of thing. I think that's how I meant to do it. And now let's see if we can bang that thing over around here. So this one doesn't say back or front, um, but I'm pretty sure the big side goes on the front of the steering wheel. The little side goes around the back. Obviously that's gonna be the top. The spokes line up with the spokes on that thing. I think this is gonna be a pretty tight fit. Might start at the bottom first. I'll line that one up in a minute. I should probably take this friggin' backing off this tape. Like so. Something like that, I guess. You reckon just leave it like this? Alright, uh, how to work out what next? So I took this little tab off, uh, that's what it looks like. It's just got two little, you push at the top, out, you push at the bottom, out, that comes off. We'll stitch that on in there and then we'll just put a little hole in it and then in there like that so it all looks nice and neat. So I read this stuff, funnier it is. It says, the vehicle that needs to be clean up edge, use the small yellow ax. So apparently this is an ax, so that's pretty sick. And then it says, so like latticed, La lattice. So like lattice, lattice, lattice. So like latticed, lattice. Just like wearing shoelaces. That is not how I do my fucking shoelaces. I don't know about you lot. Final renderings in the making process. So I'm gonna toss this, as I said originally, and I'm just gonna wing it. All right, so I pulled all the tape off. That's how it looks. And now we can kind of get him down where they're kind of gonna go. Now the part that I'm not 
particularly keen for. Sewing this together, obviously one, two, three parts. All right, I've got this stuck down. Now we're gonna thread it. So I've got our little thread with a little knot in the end. Probably pretty hard to see, but there's a little knot in it. Now I believe we need to measure out roughly how much we need. So we need like three or four times the length of this. So I don't know, that's about one, two, three, four, four and a bit more, I guess, just to be safe. And then uh, then we give that a snip, or gotcha. And then we gotta thread it through the damn needle, which is, uh, they gave us two. I'm not sure why, there's a smaller one and a bigger one. I suppose we'll start off with a small one and see how that goes. And if we can't get it in, we'll use the big one. All right, that was nice and easy. I've done this this year, right? It is now night, just about. It's very dark in here now. This is quite possibly the most annoying thing I've ever done in my entire life. I've pretty much got one third of it. I don't know if I wanna say done, that's hanging, no idea how to tie that up. It starts a fucking mess. That sucked. It looks like shit in my opinion. Look, all I'm saying is we're lucky it's black. I kinda, once I got going it was okay, kind of. The start was a schmozzle. The end is still a schmozzle. To be honest, I'm probably gonna just wing the rest of it and order a new one because, I mean, they're like 20 bucks, so it's kinda whatever. But this looks terrible. I'll, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna finish it because I've got to drive this thing tomorrow. I'm not having a good time. Zero, zero out of ten. That means mint. This is not mint. Zero. Thing is, get a shitload of thread, thread it through your needle, pull it till the lengths are even. And like, when I say a shitload, I mean get a shitload because I just about ran out on that one and it was no bloody good. So I bloody not in the end of it. Alright, got our knot nice, cut the tails off. So I managed to get this far and then it just goes pear shaped, mate. I don't even want to do it the same as how I did the last time because it looks shitty. And you've got to poke that through, pull that all the way through your hole. And then you've got to thread it in between in the top of the leather but below the stick through the stitching pull that going on here pull that tight and then go every loop to start off with because that's what everyone says to do all right pull that through pull that nice i don't know i feel like mine's too big like i can't pull it tight enough it's not really working for me just gonna pull it tight as can't see a goddamn thing in here did i just stitch it around i just stitched it around the steering wheel how did i even do that all right don't stitch it around the steering wheel like a freaking idiot. So go every loop to start off with, and then go to every second loop. But honestly, don't take my advice, because mine looks shitty off. My mother's ringing me, I should probably just ask her to help me with this bullshit. So this one, I think I did a better job. Uh, honestly, the start, no idea what happened. Through the middle, I think pretty consistent. At the end, still haven't worked out how to, to tie that off. This is like a challenge. I don't know, I'm just gonna tie it somehow. And however it looks is how it looks. I'm kind of hoping I can hide whatever I tie underneath the clip thing that goes there. Anyway, we're, we've done the two bottom bits. Let's try and work the top out. I think it's going to be a pain, but <sighs> we'll get there. We got it done. My start sucked. My end sucked. My start sucked. My end sucked. My start sucked. My ending sucked. You get the point. The starts and the ends are really quite difficult. The idea is, if I can get this thing to focus, each one of these little stitches at the start, go through every one. One, 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 one. Around the outside and through. Around the outside and through. And then once you start getting out past the uh, corners of it, you can start going every second one. And then that's how you end up with this crisscross pattern. That took a while. It is now 6.08 and I started this at like 2 o'clock, so quite a process. Um, honestly, I don't know how this is going to look, but let's put them little clip things back on and then work it out from there. Now the finished product, kind of, look, it's not, it's not perfect, is it? That one turned out not too bad. This one didn't turn out too bad. This one's a bit how you going. Uh, overall, 
it turned out better than I thought it was going to turn out when I first started. And that's probably going to do for a little while. I'll probably just leave it like that to be perfectly honest with you. Can't really be bothered to go through that again. As I said, that took me quite a few hours. I'm gonna go and cook dinner and then we'll pull that thing out. All right, this is the cover for the cluster. Uh, I think if we hold it up here, you can... Nope. You see how scratched it is? Let's see if we can get a lot of those scratches out. We'll be doing it with this thing. I don't have a polisher. But this should work. Use some compound, clean that thing up. Machine should be looking mint. Ultimate compound should uh, sort the plastic out pretty quick. Maybe we're gonna need too much. Feels a lot cleaner. Looks a lot cleaner. Still a couple in it, but I might give it another hit because it literally took a minute, but that's like a thousand times better than what it was. That's kind of like Mickey Mouse in there. So there's still a bit up there that you can kind of see. All right, I know you guys probably can't tell in the video, but this thing looks heaps clearer. I, I can't even see the plastic. So between the steering wheel, now I've got that in there, which needs to wipe goddamn. And that, pretty, pretty happy with how the interior is getting along. Gotta sort that out, but we'll get there. Thanks for watching another video. Uh, the steering wheel was a massive pain in the ass. Don't recommend it. I mean, happy with how it turned out, but it sucked. No idea how to do it. It just kind of happens. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you next week.